Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me James and Happy New Year to you as this is my first episode of January 2020. I uh, hope you all had a good one. Now we're going to be getting stuck into some uh, T-Rex breeding today. I just want to show you whereabouts we are at um, with the Rexes. I'm just currently imprinting a few more here and um, yeah, we're sort of getting to the halfway point on the imprint, so we're sort of confined to the island. And uh, while I've been doing that, I've just been crafting up a few of the Ascendant saddles. And as you can see on here, I've also started to pump some levels because um, these Rexes are earning some passive levels with the amount of baby T-Rexes we're having to um, kill. It's just handy to have them close by on the beach. Now, I think, is it this one that doesn't have an Ascendant saddle? Yeah, it's a primitive one. Um, everybody else should have an Ascendant saddle on them. Now, in order to craft a, um, a saddle that large, you, you need to have a dinosaur to do it. You can do it on a beaver, I guess, but I always um, do it on the Argies, and uh, this is saddles I've uh, kept him specifically to do this task with. And I've had to level up 32,000 weight in order to be able to craft this blueprint. And um, yeah, you can't craft it in the smithy, you have to do it in the dino's inventory. But at the same time, you can at least you can fly about and I can fly and grab these out of various lockers. And it's uh, just much easier to do it on the RG. So if you are doing these big blueprints and uh, you haven't got any mods or S plus or anything like that, it's the only way you can do it is uh, in one of the dinos that uh, allows you to craft in their saddles. So, um, now which one was it that didn't have... Let's just... Super Rex 9, I'm not sure if I've pumped... I haven't pumped anything into Super Rex 8, so we can see that we're at nearly 12,000 health, and melee damage is at sort of over... Um, fifth, uh, over 500% sort of as a base stat. And remember, we're not, we are playing on the single ser single player settings, so um, I think we've got, is it five mutations in? Um, a couple of these have got uh, an extra melee, but we are um, five mutations in, so four health, one melee, and 100% um, imprint. I think, hopefully, once we put some levels into it, it should be powerful enough, because I'm pretty sure that sort of a, a stack of 10 mutations at least would be able to do it on um, a multiplayer server. So, um, I'm taking a risk, but if we have to go further, we will. We'll have to just keep on stacking the mutations, but I think we've got a pretty powerful army here, or it will be, once we've stacked some points on these guys. So, um, yeah, I need to get a good 20 of them together just to begin with. And uh, I guess we'll have to do the Uteranus as well. I'm not so fussed about putting... I probably just... I won't do sort of the selective breeding that we've done with the Rexes on the Uteranus because um, I don't expect to be taking much damage on it. And I don't think I would use it in the final fight. I'd rather be on a Tech Rex. So, yeah, so we're just sort of like I say, confined to the island and um, waiting for these guys to need an imprint. What's that one? That one's got three health. I think that one's actually got four health, one melee on it. I think that was another mutation. I might have listed that one wrong. Um, so it is possible to actually have a sixth mutation on there. I've got loads of eggs waiting. Um, over here we've got Bumblebee and Wasp. These two are going to be helping me in the um, a snow cave. Now, last time I poked my head into that cave, everything had spawned back. So, um, hopefully, when we eventually get into to, um, to do that artifact, is it the artifact of the strong? Yeah, I think that's the only one we're missing. Hopefully, everything's uh, spawned back. So, okay. So I've just crafted some more shocking tranquilizer darts. They're uh, twice as powerful as the other ones. And I had a load of biotoxins, so... And these guys also need an imprint. Um, as a bear, I think I've got some of them in my inventory. I've got one, that's what we need. And... Okay, so you... What? Oh, getting stuck. What do you want? You've got another 10 seconds. Uh, regular kibble, I've got that in my inventory, I think. I have. Had to use that once before, but yeah, 
can't wander away and that's another thing about not having the S plus mod we don't have a nanny so we've got to manually do all of this imprinting which is quite time consuming if you guys have done this before just doing the imprints alone take a little bit of time uh, now my fridges are a mess but I know I've got some prime meat jerky somewhere um, as you can see all the Rex eggs that I've got in here that I still need to hatch out um, but that will help us get some levels on the uh, Rexes anyway and there we go okay so I think it's another 15 minutes between imprints I guess we can get on with uh, grinding some stuff up I've got a load of these saddles and things um, I've got quite a lot of hide. I am going to need, definitely need more hide, but I've got quite a lot to do a few more saddles. I think the first bottleneck is going to be metal, um, but I have been trying to do as much as I can. The forge is pretty much always on, and uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is another reason why you need to have a bird or amount that's leveled in weight and nothing but weight in order to craft one of these saddles um, but yeah we can at least we can carry all of the metal over with us and I think I've showed you these guys before um, I've just had these vaults in here which is where I've been stacking the hide again there's no stack mods in here so let's just grab I don't know 15,000 and look at the lag <laughs> as we take this out here it's so much to so much to craft these saddles. It really is. Um, I was thinking that, that I had a good amount of hide, but I don't think I am. Um, but yeah, you can see how much it lags out. Just transferring all of that. And there we go. Here's another saddle. But yeah, I'm going to have to be getting some more metal on the go and I'm probably gonna have to be well we're always collecting hide that's one of the things if you're intending to do this for yourself don't drop any hide just try and keep it all back because you're gonna need it and um, I think somebody's still got has anybody got a primitive saddle amongst you lot not you I can't remember, I think there was one that wasn't an ascendant. Um, was it you? Yes. Let's just get rid of that. So I think that's uh, six saddles we've got so far. We're getting somewhere. But like I say guys, this, t this really does take some time to do. Uh, just put this back on you. Yeah, if you've done this stuff before, as you'll know. Okay. Um, so we'll have three more, so that makes 12 Super Rexes. And is that seven saddles? I think so. Yep, he's got a primitive. Um, I need to take that one off. Okay, so we've uh, managed to Im fully imprint uh, these next three. And as you can see, yeah, looking around, um, what's that, 11,000 on the health and over 500% melee damage on all of these. Some of them got slightly higher, but uh, yep. And we are now seven saddles in. And uh, I've got one more ready to craft over the back here. So I've just put saddles at the forge. And yep, yeah, we're certainly going to have to start grinding for the metal now. But like I say, this is one of the reasons it's good to have the bird. You can just carry the saddle maker to wherever you need to put the resources in. And just eat some food. I need to cook some more food. Breeding Rexes also takes a lot of meat up. Okay, so that's another saddle. Let's go and stick it on one of these new Rexes and put them over the back. 
you're closest to the pack. Number 10. Yeah, I haven't been creative with the names, but um, I have numbered them, so it makes it easier to figure out which Rex killed what, which which target, at least when that comes up, we'll know it was Rex 10 or whatever. But yeah, I can't think of uh, 20 T-Rex names. Okay, so I think we've had enough of the uh, imprinting and breeding just for the time being. I need a little bit of a break. And earlier on this week, I saw a um, high-level Uteranus. I can't remember whether it was a male or a female out towards, uh, out towards the ice plains and the mountains there. So I'm going to go and see if I can still find it. And uh, before we do that, I'm going to head to the green obelisk and craft up some cryopods because I've not been taking any advantage of them since the update and uh, it certainly would make things easier. And uh, then I'm going to head over to the snow biome, see if I can find that Uteranus. Hopefully it's a female and um, we might be able to do something with the... I think I've got a high level male but we lost the last one to the dodo rex on the way home. So let's head out that way and uh, see if we can find one. Inventory's too full. Let's just put you back on here for now. So yeah, the uh, the ability to be able to do this came back in, I think it was March of, uh, well, be last year now, wasn't it? And uh, um, I wasn't uh, using the cryopods, but I haven't really been doing much taming when, uh, when I realized that we could do it without needing the tech tier. So um, I guess I did end up losing that Uteranus. If I'd have had it in my pocket, I wouldn't have uh, lost it, but um, for the most part, I had to hunt on the T-Rexes to find the Uteranus anyway. So, um, yep, it's certainly handy that we can use the uh, Pokeballs. Now, why are we not allowed to craft them all at once? There you go, try crafting all eight. But yeah, this makes things um, a lot easier for transporting dinos around, and uh, it's certainly going to be much easier carrying our T-Rex army up when we need it, when we can put them all in our pocket. Okay, so yeah, he's still here. I don't know if he's actually stuck, um, but unfortunately it is a he and not a she, um, so I can't remember what level um, the other one was. I think this one's a 120. I think the other one might be a higher level, but um, we may as well grab it. Um, but is it actually sort of stuck down here? And the reason I don't like taming them on the RG is if you jump off it, it can scare your bird off and then you are in trouble, which is why I tend to go out on the T-Rexes with these. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check whether the uh, snow cave was working while we was out here and check whether this Uteranus was still here. And it is. But I don't know where he's gone off to. Oh, yeah. yeah, is he stuck? I don't know. If so, it would be an easier tame. Um, okay, let's stick Twitch away in this cave, because even if he gets scared, he can only really fly around in this cave. So, he'll be okay here. And uh, am I on Gamma 3? I'll just check. I am. It's a little bit dark inside there. Uh, okay, can we just stand and shoot from here? I'm gonna fall down there. There we go. And and what do you know? <laughs> Escapes as soon as I point my uh, gun. Oh, arc. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see if we can get your attention. I feel pretty safe up towards this way. They generally can't sort of shout upwards, and I'm not affected by it. I don't think. Uh, no, why are you running away? This one's, uh... It's not um, aggroing on me for some reason. Very strange. Oh, don't go in the water. Oh, no. Okay. Um... I'll try hitting it from here, but if it's stuck in the water and I knock it out, it might... Um... It might drown. 
That's the problem. I don't know whether it's kind of on an ice block or whether it'll actually roll over in the water. Still, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Okay. Taking quite a lot of shots. Oh, there he goes. And is it... Oh, it's gone under the ice. Um, oh, let's go and check it out. It's, uh, it might be drowning. It's quite shallow there and it might have tricked it, so I don't know. Let's see. Was it down in this corner? Or is it down on that one? I can't see it at all. Looks like it's totally gone under water, so we might have just wasted some, uh, Trank arrows there, and some good ones, because I think it's taken about 60 odd to um, drop it. Uh, there it is. Could it be okay? So it might just be above the rock. And yeah, it looks like its oxygen's okay, so it's not taking any. Um, it's not taking any oxygen damage. Okay, so um, I've gone to check whether the cave is spawning in any bad guys, and it hasn't this time. So I don't know what's going on with it. It has once, the well, last time I checked on it, it was okay, but this time again, nothing's spawning in there. So um, we really need to get that fixed. Um, okay, I can't. Did I fly too far in with you? You'll have to follow me out, Twitch. Okay, so the Uterana should be tamed now, and uh, do I just jump on you? There we go. Um, let's take you back and uh, see if you'll be any good to us. I'm not so sure if he will be, but I'll say I saw him out here before, so tamed out at 209. I don't think the stats look great, so um, I think the one at the base I've got is higher level, but never mind. I just figured we'd grab it. Um, so in regards to the cave, um, I don't know, perhaps on the way home, back to base, um, I'll load in another cave, and sometimes that fixes it. Why is this not working? Oh, I've had to get under the water to do it. Okay, gotta catch them all. There we go. So, we got a Uteranus in our pocket. Just put this away. Yeah, 6,000 health and 370% melee damage. Mm, yeah, I don't think there's any stats there that I'm gonna be needing. Where's this cryopod not gone away? Mm. Ah, bug. Actually, I think I remember it being bugged before, actually, so... Okay, so let's um, head back to base. In fact, before we head back to base, I'm actually gonna go and head to Kano Island and just load in another cave quickly. See if that fixes it. Everybody, okay. Yeah, so last time this didn't work, I went into the gas cave, gave it a couple of hours, and then all of the stuff in that cave spawned back in. So let's see if we can uh, just go in another cave, wait for the load in, or get inside there just at the front entrance, and um, hopefully that fixes it. Because other than that, I don't know what we can do starting to wish we'd have done it, done it when I saw the Yeti uh, in there and I could have had it um, recorded so it is the last cave to do and uh, yes yeah, some of these caves have been bugged out but we've managed to do the other nine 
we've managed to get round it. Oh, this is a red loot crate. Ooh, scorpion. May as well grab it as it's just right at the front. Yeah, I can see scorpions have loaded in in here. I saw some bats at the back. Um, yeah, nothing any good. I guess we can uh, put it in the grinder. It will go towards the wreck saddles. So yeah, now we've loaded it in and out of there. Perhaps uh, a couple of hours. We'll let a couple of hours pass and um, go go back and check the snow cave because I would like to get that last artifact um, very soon. And I plan to take the off the otter in there. And I only really want to do that cave the one time. Um, so I'm going to hang about and wait for the artifact to respawn in there. Okay. Well, let's just head back to base and uh, hopefully when we head out to the to do the artifact of the strong in the next episode I would think that would be hopefully everything's working uh, fingers crossed guys that I get it fixed okay and we're back and I've just grabbed a couple of Lystrosauruses um, I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna stick them near the Rexes and uh, see if we can get any points extra points with uh, the passive XP that they do. I've never really tried it, but it's worth a go. Okay, um, that's you tamed. Now, I know that you can tame them. Their preferred food is flowers, but uh, these tame fairly quick with mejos. I'm not really bothered about the level. In fact, I don't think the level of them um, affects um, how good they give XP. Um, I do need to craft another a feeding trough for these guys because I think the ones at the back are not actually getting food so them ones are connected but them ones are not getting the symbol so yeah I'll have to put the feeding trough but I figured as we're going to be killing the baby rexes and if we stick a couple of these Lystrosauruses in front of the rexes they may just help um, but yeah comments down below if you think they're they're worth it I guess when you spread it out over 20 rexes, just that little extra push might actually make it into a worthwhile thing to be doing. Okay, so if you just stop following me and then if we just pet them. Yeah, so they're sort of boosting the XP I believe. Well, they should be. I think that's how it works. And if we just check one of these dinos, see if the see if their points are going up. Yep, the XP is going up, sort of very slowly, but it is going up just a little tiny bit. Yeah, but comments down below if you've uh, experimented with the Lystrosauruses and if you think it's worthwhile. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately the Euteranus we just got then is not much good to us. So I'm just going to breed the good male that we've got with this other female. And we'll wait until we get a copy of the male and then we'll imprint that one. So at least we'll be going into a battle with uh, a fully imprinted Euteranus. Even though we're not going to stack mutations on it at all or go for any mutations. Yeah, I feel we're making great progress towards the end of completing this arc and uh, I'm sure we're going to be facing uh, the Broodmother quite soon. Um, I do want to be, be able to get somewhere near to the finish of this game in time for Genesis because otherwise I'm going to have to sort of slow down what we're doing with the uh, complete the arc. But don't worry, um, we will be completing the arc. I'm, I'm committed to do it. And... Um, when the DLC comes up, we're going to be able to play it in a, in a sort of different way. And uh, I'm looking really looking forward to that. So, until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and we'll see ya.